In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to create parallax sections. So here I am at one of the bridge demo sites. And as I start scrolling down, we can see the parallax effect in action. So the parallax effect happens when the background image scrolls at a different speed than the foreground content. Parallax can add a three-dimensional feel to your page. It's also something that you can use to add some more visual interest. So let's see how you can create parallax sections on your site. This is the site that I will be working on in today's tutorial. This is a fairly simple page. And here at the testimonials section, I'm going to add a parallax image in the background. So let's get started. Here I'm using the WordPress Bakery Visual Composer. If you're using the Elementor page builder, I will show you how to add parallax sections using Elementor at a later stage in the tutorial. So let's find my testimonial section. So here it is, and I'm going to go ahead and edit the row containing the testimonials. Here where it says row type, I'm going to choose parallax. And down here, I can upload my image. Let's save. And let's refresh my page. So the parallax image is now visible, but as I'm scrolling up and down, we can see that it doesn't look very good. At some stages, the text is actually spilling outside of the image. And if this happens, it means that the image is not tall enough. So to fix this scrolling problem, I will simply need to upload an image with a greater height. On our demo sites, most of our parallax images are at least a thousand pixels tall. And depending on the content on your page, you might need to use an image that's even larger. And as for the width of the parallax image, you should keep in mind that the image will not expand to cover the viewport. So if you see some empty spaces on the sides of your image and you would like your image to be full width, then you should upload a wider image. On our demo sites, most of our parallax images are 1920 pixels wide, and that's in order to cover high definition displays. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a taller image here. And let's refresh. The parallax section looks much better now. Now the text here is not very legible. So I'm going to make it white. Let's refresh the page. And this is now looking better. But the text is now flushed to the edges of the image. So let's go ahead and add some space between the text and the edges of the image. In order to add some space, I'm going to add some empty space short codes. And I now have two empty space short codes. One is above the content and the other one is underneath the content. So let's save. Let's refresh. And I'm now pretty happy with how this parallax section looks like. Let's go in the back end and explore some more parallax options. Over here, there's a field called full section height. So as the name suggests, you can set yes if you want your parallax section to be full screen. Here on our demo site, we have an example of full screen parallax sections. And over here, there's a field called parallax speed. 
This field accepts values between 0 and 1. You can enter 0 if you want to have a completely static parallax image. 1 is the fastest parallax speed. And you can also enter decimal values. Now let's see some parallax options for mobile devices. I'm going to navigate to Code Options Parallax. Here we have a field called Parallax on Touch Devices, and we recommend keeping this setting turned off. The parallax effect is not yet fully supported on all mobile devices. You could have some unexpected effects, and for that reason, we recommend simply turning off parallax for mobiles. If you do want to switch on parallax for mobiles, you will have an additional field here called parallax minimum height. And as the name suggests, here you can enter a minimum height for your parallax sections on mobiles. Let's view my page in a mobile simulator. Because parallax is turned off for mobiles on my site, the parallax image converts into a regular background image on mobiles. So on mobile pages, if the page is responsive, the content will stack up vertically. As a result, your parallax section can be very tall, much taller than it is on desktops, and this can be problematic for the parallax effect working properly. That's another reason why we recommend keeping parallax turned off on mobiles. So we've now shown you how to create a parallax section using WordPress Bakery. In the following section, we're going to show you how to do that using Elementor. Here I've imported a bridge demo that was built using Elementor. And over here, where I have counters, I'm going to add a parallax background. So I'm going to press this button in order to edit my section. Here on the left, I'm going to click on the Advanced tab. And down here, there's a section called Bridge Parallax. It says Enable Parallax, so let's put Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and upload an image. So my image is now here. Unlike WordPress Bakery, with Elementor, your parallax speed will be zero by default. So as I'm scrolling up and down, we can see that the image is completely static. If you want to change that, you can add a different value here in the parallax speed field. I've entered 0.5, and now as I'm scrolling, we can see that the image also scrolls. So that brings this video to a wrap. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to be notified about upcoming videos where we share helpful tips and tricks for building your site, you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.